Hey, I think you're great. You know, the, the thumbs up is a pretty common gesture today, and it's a, a positive one. Everybody likes getting a, a thumbs up, uh, indicates uh, approval uh, and acceptance. It is kind of like the, the nonverbal equivalent of amen. We're going to explore that connection today, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll give it two thumbs up. Hey there, St. Paul family and whoever else happens to be watching. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, thank you for watching this week's video devotion as we continue in our Back to Basics series. We're in the middle of week seven. And again, I, I hope you've been able to keep up with the, the daily reading plan through Martin Luther's small catechism. Today, we'll be discussing the, the ending, the conclusion to the Lord's Prayer. But no matter what day you're watching this or where you are in your reading plan, uh, go ahead and, and do that reading right now uh, and then join me back here. I want to first address the, the ending conclusion to the Lord's Prayer. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory uh, forever and ever. I didn't touch on it in my sermon this last week. And it's actually not in uh, Luther's original small catechism. It's also not originally part of the Lord's Prayer. It's not part of what Jesus taught us to pray. Uh, so where did it come from? Well, it actually comes from sometime in the early church. It showed up in some of the, the early Bible manuscripts. It was it was added in, which shows that it, it kind of became common practice pretty early on. Uh, this doxology is what it's called, a, a word of praise. And doxologies, you will find all over in the Bible. And it was, it was added as a, uh, a fitting conclusion, uh, which joyfully confesses that our Father is, is able to do all of the things that we ask in these pet petitions. Uh, and we punctuate that with an amen. Uh, amen, again, is uh, an affirmative word expressing, yes, it, it shall be so. Earlier uh, in the introduction, I compared uh, giving an amen to, uh, to giving a, a thumbs up. Uh, think of a historically black church, for example, and you'll hear amen scattered throughout the service and, and the sermon as the, the preacher is preaching. And you'll hear amen, which means, yes, you know, preach it. You got that right. Um, I, I like what you're saying. Amen. And uh, it's as if they're giving a, a, a thumbs up during the sermon. And thumbs up, as I mentioned too, there you'll find that uh, all over the place today, especially on social media. Uh, if you like something, you, you give it a thumbs up. Again, uh, if you find something, uh, a post, a picture uh, that you like, that you agree with, that you approve of, uh, you'll hit that like button. You'll, you'll give a thumbs up. So, hey, uh, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up on Facebook or on YouTube or uh, write a, an amen in the comments below. Now, when we end our prayers with, with amen, we are we're giving it a, uh, a thumbs up, which expresses that we, we give approval uh, to everything that we have said in our prayer. We agree with everything that has been said. And we, we also show that we are confident that our prayer has been heard and it will be answered by God. Uh, after all, he's the one who gave us this prayer, the Lord's Prayer. Uh, he gave it to us, and so we can be confident that this prayer is pleasing to him and that he will grant our petitions. And so I think you can also, when you, when you say amen, yes, it shall be so, you can also imagine God uh, giving this prayer a thumbs up. Meaning that, yes, he has heard it. Yes, he will answer it. Uh, no maybes, no ifs, no conditions, no wavering. Your prayers receive approval from God. 
And this gets us back, uh, connects us to the introduction to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, we pray boldly and confidently as dear children ask their dear Father. You have God's approval. Just as God gave Jesus, his only begotten Son, a thumbs up at his baptism, you remember what he said? This is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. He gets a thumbs up. Well, so too, all who have been baptized into Christ Jesus have God's, the Father's approval. God gives you, not just your prayers, you yourself, God gives a thumbs up. It says, you are my beloved son or daughter with whom I am well pleased. And because you have God's love and approval, you can be confident that your prayers are pleasing to him. Amen. Will you pray with me? Our Father in heaven, grant us certainty to pray according to your command and in the confidence that you have promised to hear us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our song of the day is another great song about prayer. Uh, it's found in the Lutheran service, book number 779. Come, my soul, with every care. Why? The next line tells us, Jesus loves to answer prayer. Look that up in your hymnal or uh, watch the, the video. Uh, click on the link that's been included uh, just below this uh, and reflect on those words today. Until next time, God's grace and peace be with you all.